and Michael Short. Come on, let's go outdoors. We are on Lesser Slave River where I'm getting a lesson in catching gold eye from biologist uh, Christy um, up here in the Slave Lake area. And you're what, three in the boat already? So far. <laughs> <laughs> She's whooping me, I'm telling you that folks. Anyways, a lot more coming up about gold eye and other fish species here in the Lesser Slave River. That's all coming up. It was a real honor to be asked to join Miles Brown and Christy Wakeling, two of the fishery biologists up in the Slave Lake region, for an evening of fishing the Lesser Slave River. I've said it before, fishing our river systems can provide some excellent angling opportunities, and this night didn't disappoint, as the bite was on, at least for the gold eye. Yep, I've got the net for you. Ooh, I think it's gold eye on board. Self-released. Hold on, I'll get it. Yeah, I'll get it out of the net so he doesn't hurt himself here. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> the fish that tends to cough the lures, we like to call them the polite fish. You don't even have to worry about releasing them yourself. They've already coughed the lure. So gold eye are a river species that few people around here um, actually know that we have in the Lesser Slave River. Few people target them, but um, a lot of the older individuals that I've spoken with have seen them in their lives before and have seen them move even up past the weir to the lake. They're, uh, they're a large or a deep bodied fish. They're pretty flat, as you can see. Their shape leads to a deep body, but a very narrow profile. And their characteristic yellow eye is something that you uh, can tell keeps them a little bit separate from what you'd see in a mountain whitefish or a lake whitefish. They've got large body scales and they've got sharp little teeth. A small meps or a small spinner will typically catch most of the sport fish in the Lesser Slave River and a lot of our other rivers around this area. Adjust your size for the size of fish and the size of mouth you're looking for. Oh, here's another one. Who do we have here? I gotta adjust my drag. Oh, woo! Hot rod. I think we got another gold eye. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. With uh, gold eye's mouths being a little bit smaller. It's kind of nice for the relief because you don't have to handle them a whole lot. I've got the fish if you've got the boat. It's a gold eye kind of night. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. They, they bite well on shiny hooks and they're a great size for kids because kids can see the fish itself and can have a chance to release it. Even if you're not going to keep it, it makes for a fun evening. 